Welcome back to the next lesson in an introduction to domains, a free course brought to you by Hover.com. DNS stands for Domain Name Server, and it's essentially a table of all of the things that our domain can point to. So right now, we don't have a lot going on with our DNS. Let's go to a different domain that's a bit more active than this one. So we're going to use my personal blog, casabona.org. You can see I have a lot more information in the casabona.org DNS than I did in wp1mo.com because I'm actively using uh, the casabona.org domain right now. So again, let's just take a walk through the types of records we have here. An MX record is the easiest one to explain, so we'll talk about that one first. MX is short for mail exchange. Essentially, this is my email server. So I can get email at casabona.org, joe at casabona.org to be more specific. And the MX record essentially tells Hover, this is the mail server that I want you to use. You'll see that we have three different entries. Uh, the first number you see here is the priority, and the second is the domain that we need to point our mail server to. Logically, what's happening here is 10 is the highest priority, so uh, we would check this first. Hover.com would say, all right, we want to retrieve mail for casabona.org. Uh, this has a value of 10, so let's go to mx10.mailspanprotection.com. That is SiteGround's uh, mail server. Uh, if that's not available, we'll try mx20.mailspanprotection.com. And then if that's not available, we'll try mx30.mailspanprotection.com. So there's a bit of a contingency there to make sure that uh, your email server never goes down. The A record is an association between your domain and an IP address, which is pointing to a server. So you can see I've got several entries here. Let's start with the very last one we have here, which is an asterisk. And that's pointing to uh, 62.227.189.197. What this is saying is if somebody goes to casabona.org without www or anything like that, uh, send them to this server. This is a server at Liquid Web. So what it's saying is uh, when somebody goes to casabona.org, point them to the Liquid Web server where casabona.org is being hosted. You can also see that I've got the at symbol, which serves as uh, something very similar to the asterisk. It's basically saying uh, when somebody wants to visit casabona.org, this is the server that you send them to. It's a lot like uh, when somebody sends mail to a post office and then they reroute it to your house. You'll also see I've got several other entries here. Uh, so if we jump to the www, you'll see that it is pointing to the same server as the asterisk and the at sign. When you're configuring a domain, you need to include the www in your A record. A lot of hosts or DNSs might do this for you, but if I were to get rid of this record and somebody would go to www.casabona.org, they would get an error that the site doesn't exist. So when you're configuring your domain, if you need to manage the DNS, make sure to include the asterisk for the A record as well as the www and make sure they're both pointing to the same server. Now, because this is a DNS that is not associated with a hosting account, for example, I'm not managing my DNS through SiteGround or Liquid Web, I can configure as many subdomains as I want to point to whatever servers I want. If we look at Phil, Mike, and Baby, these are all subsites that I've set up for casabona.org, and they're pointing to a different server than Liquid Web. They're actually pointing to my SiteGround server. I also set up a teach.casabona.org website, which is pointing to an older server I was using when I was teaching at the University of Scranton. And you can see that I also set up the www.phil and www.mike for my brother's websites. I did not for baby.casabona.org. So just real quick to demonstrate that, let's go to phil.casabona.org. So that's a working website. If I go to www.phil.casabona.org, 
that will redirect to bill.casabuna.org. Uh, and that's because that's a WordPress setting. Both of them are pointing to the same website, and therefore WordPress chooses the primary domain. Now, if I go to baby.casabona.org, you'll see I set up a simple blog uh, just to kind of track my thoughts. But if I go to www.baby.casabona.org, we'll get a site error. And again, that's because I have not configured the www dot portion of the domain for uh, baby.casabona.org. So we're seeing a not found error here. So those are the two main types of records you'll find in your DNS. If we want to add a record, we can click add a record and we'll see a few other types here. Uh, the most important one to call out is the C name. Uh, the C name or canonical name record it points to a subdomain or a different domain name. Uh, so, for example, if I had joe.casabona.org, I could make that the host name, and then I could send that to casabona.org. So that's a C name. It's essentially uh, a redirect uh, in your DNS. The last thing I want to point out is the TTL. TTL stands for time to live. When you configure a domain, it takes time for those settings to propagate throughout the world. So if I were to set up a domain today, it would take time uh, for every DNS on the globe to update so people can accurately get to my website. The same thing goes for if I'm changing my hosting. So if I decide that I want to move from Liquid Web, I would update my A record to point to a different IP address. What the TTL does is say the global DNS has 15 minutes to update everything. Essentially, it's saying to the global DNS, check this setting every 15 minutes to make sure it hasn't changed. Now, TTL gets a little bit murky and we're not going to get into it here, but TTL is not just subject to the DNS, it's also subject to the internet service provider. For example, Comcast has a decidedly longer TTL than my DNS. So it might take Comcast users longer to see the change on my domain. That's it for this lesson. What we learned is the DNS stands for domain name server, and it's essentially a table of different settings we can have for our domain. Uh, the A record is a record that points our domain to the server where our website is being hosted. The MX record is the mail exchange record if our domain is receiving email. And the C name is essentially a redirect within the DNS. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to set up a domain forward. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, go ahead and click the like button, or even better, head over to wpinonemonth.com slash hover and check them out. Buy your domain from them. They're offering a nice discount for anybody who has never bought a domain from them who are students of WP in one month. The next video should be right below me, uh, unless you're on the last video, which in that case, congratulations, you have completed the domains and DNS course. Thanks.